All right, so there seems to have been an update, and it's a pretty big one. I was pretty excited to see some of the stuff inside. Yeah, pretty. It doesn't look pretty big in that one, but I think I did the pre-download beforehand, so. It's still pretty big. This is like 2.5 gigabytes, I think. I don't megabytes, maybe. Game release, having sale. Okay, cool. New selection pack is here. <clears throat> I don't know much on any of these, although I know that I probably would have probably tried Punk since it's Sea Serpent. Although it is Wind Sea Serpent, so it looks like. But I'm not fully sure. Of a Heavenly Prison? I have no idea what this is. Uh, but from what I've been hearing, this is the best card for some reason. Monsters your opponent controls lose 200 attack for each hero card in your graveyard. You can only use the effect of Destiny Hero, destroy a field, blah blah blah. Destroy one, uh, destroy both one card you control and one card on the field. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can activate or summon one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard. Phase of your next turn. <coughs> so. I don't get it. Is it he just pops himself and it just... I, I really don't understand this. I'm guessing it's he pops himself and it gets you the ability to resummon him. Which I guess that makes sense why that would be the best card, but it's like constant popping. I'm assuming. I'm not sure. But this is what I've been looking forward to. <clears throat> New gates have been added to solo mode. Dual training. Yeah, we'll take a look at the dual strategies and dual strategy too. That sounds interesting. Okay. Dismantling Dark Magician. Is there a problem with it? Error will occur when trying to dismantle due to dismantle compensation. <laughs> okay. When players use their dismantle all excess selected cards, it's interesting. And it's pretty good. Issue with fusion summon animations. Oh yeah, I did hear a little bit of that. It, entry time for it. New accessories are available in the shop. Well, thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna grab all this and see what we get. 500, that's fantastic. I love it. <clears throat> and then as per usual, 500 turns into a 300. Dailies is still 20. So, everything seems pretty good so far. Before we go to solo mode, I'm gonna check out the shop and see how this goes. Fusion potential. Now, the thing with this is I think this has... Yeah, it has Ritual Beasts. I already have Ritual Beasts. I don't have it fully finished, but still. Various themes and summons. What the heck is this? This looks familiar, but... I see. I'm a, no, don't know that one. Nope. Sword Soul. Nope. Starving Venom, I do know. Maybe the Sword Soul does look familiar to me. Huh. Weird. Structure deck, I don't buy these. <clears throat> I like this. The Realm of Danger. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing people who play dinosaurs probably use that one. That's what it kind of gives me the feeling of. What is this? Uh, Crystal Papa Pass. Young man who bests this is the power of dragons, okay. Thunder dragon, yeah. That I can see. I like this. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I would definitely get into this where uh, there are elemental sleeves. That's cool. And the- ah, oh, man. The bundle deal's not here yet, but it will be. There's supposed to be one with impermanence coming. What? Enough with the delay, let's go ahead and check out what we have. 
We have dual training. Challenge yourself to arrange duels that will help you improve your skills. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, okay, so this was the first one. Oh, they actually have stars on it for difficulty. That's kind of cool. Learn how to special summon. Yeah, the difficulty seems to be going- Oh, man, Mausoleum of the Emperor. I freaking love that card. Not good at all, but it's still very funny. Okay, interesting. They're giving you some interesting cards. Interdimensional Matter, nice. 100, nice, okay. Okay. What is this? The Rock Spirit? Well, someone's by stress them if I am a banishing water. Okay. That's weird. Okay. And then if you complete all that, you get a book of moon as a little thing. That's kind of cool. Linker Bell. <laughs> I don't remember many people using that. Puzzle Nino. And a hundred. A lot of this is kind of eh, but free cards, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, where is it? Okay, so, here we have the dangers. Sorry for the long delay, I needed to look at everything. Uh, so here we have the dangers, and the way that these guys work is they reveal themselves in the hand, and they discard a random, or your opponent chooses a card at random for the way that the game works, uh, I believe it just does it randomly. But if they miss choosing the target that was revealed, they get special summoned. But if they get that target, they activate their discard effect, which is basically when they're discarded, activate this effect. Uh, there's one, like grade one or grade two, I don't remember, that's uh, called Suchinoko. It's a snake and it immediately summons itself back. I had one of my, my one of my friends wanted to build this, so I, I helped him out a little bit. Just kind of gave him some ideas from what I've seen. But let's look at the story. The Danger Files. There is a lone island somewhere out in the wide ocean that people say is the last untouched corner of this planet. Some think that it may be the land of legend lost to time. The waters around the island were always turbulent and the weather unpredictable, as if nature itself was trying to reject anyone who tried to step foot on it. Thus humans have never been able to ascertain what the island even looked like in full, let alone the ecosystem within. But one day, a certain team was dispatched to explore the island, in secret, and they had only just returned recently. With the fruits of their exploration to be disclosed at a debriefing session, the media outlets that caught wind of the information were dying to get their hands on what could be the discovery of the century, and flooded the team with countless press applications and requests. The debriefing opened to a full but silent room with air as heavy and thick as mud. I have no idea what that means. No one was quite sure what to make of that. Or sorry, no one was quite sure of what to make of the explorers who were about to report their findings as their appearance was not quite normal and to say the least. Yeah, they look freaking damaged as hell. <clears throat> It was almost hard to look at the explorers wrapped in bandages and some of them trembling as their fearful eyes darted about. Just what terrors had they experienced during their exploration? What dangers had lied in wait for them as they ventured into the island? Honestly, the Danger Island could probably just be labeled as like King Kong's the Skull Island type of thing. But I don't doubt that. Wait. They put a scenario at the beginning. Both scenarios at the beginning? But why? <clears throat> huh. 
Okay. Oh, they're so cute. A little jackalope. I believe jackalope, when sent to the graveyard, searches a card. Searches a danger. Okay, well. I guess these are going to be shorter episodes, kind of. A single team member cleared their throat and the debriefing began. File number 0028. Danger Suchinoko. Lives in grassy areas and wetlands. Appearance is akin to the that of a snake with a rounded torso, and it seems they shed their skin too. Oh, I never noticed that on the picture. <laughs> there's, there's a baby snake on the right. <laughs> no live specimens were found, but we've succeeded in collecting its shed skin. Analyzing it may lead to further discoveries. Makes sense. File number 0159. Danger Thunderbird. Ooh, this one must be terrifying. A giant monstrous bird that circles above the island, covered in a thick plumage, plumage of colorful feathers. This looks so cool. The biggest out of all the creatures the team members discovered with its full wingspan of about the size of a mid-sized aircraft. Really? Only an aircraft? I mean, I, I guess that makes sense, but I, I would think that, you know, you'd want... I just now noticed the little guys at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, they should be afraid. Okay, yeah, it looks about- wait, if it was flying around like that, why didn't they see that beforehand? I don't know. It appears to be surrounded by some sort of electricity. The creature has sight- we was sighted to have bolts of lightning emanating from its body. Once it spots prey, the creature dives down from the sky and uses its sharp talons to capture whatever it is. Although we were caught in its path, we were able to escape safely to a nearby cave. Yeah. I don't look safe. While we took shelter, we discovered one of its feathers nearby and brought it back with us. <laughs> the scientist looks so crazy. As the audience listened to the as the audience listened to the report, they illuminated among themselves. Some researchers were elated by the fact that there was physical evidence of these never before seen creatures. Others, such as the sponsors from the scientific organization that sent these explorers out, pondered how they should handle this island in the future, as the creatures were more dangerous than they had thought. Really, just the two? Interesting. I'm guessing if I get to this, there's no extra story. Well, I usually do the little practice round so that it'll tell you and you can see a little bit of it, so might as well. Yeah, this board looks so cool. I like this board. All right, starting with Bigfoot. Okay, danger monsters have their effects to activate. Yeah, I already explained this earlier. Okay, so he's going, he summons Suchinoko regularly. Okay, so he chooses a card from the entire hand then discards it. If this card... If the discarded was not summoned. If you do draw one card, if this card is discarded. Oh yeah, and you draw cards. I forgot about that. Discard Danger Bigfoot from your hand to activate Danger Excitement Mystery. Then add Danger Chupacabra from your deck to your hand. So, it wants me to use this first. Okay, I guess this is the searcher. Just discard and then he activates and add Chupacabra. Danger monsters have effects to activate when discarded. Yep, I think Bigfoot pops. Hey, look at that. And I think Chupacabra, uh, when sent to the graveyard, special summons from graveyard. But it has to be like another danger, so it can't be him. These are some great animations. They did really well on this. Like, just updating the game. It looks great. Ooh. 
Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let's see if <laughs> we get another scenario or not during this time. Okay. Wait, will this kill? Yeah, this will kill. Wasn't sure if I was counting it right. Okay, and then... Oh, that's cool. There's another one. I thought so. <clears throat> Before they could find their answer, the conference continued on. File number 0232. Danger Bigfoot. A gigantic, muscular creature with black hair growing from its body. Standing tens of meters tall. If not more, bipedal, bipedal its barrels through the trees as it roams the forest and mountains it lives in. This is such a confusing way to say things. <laughs> I kind of hate it. <coughs> it has an extraordinarily bad temperament. We observed it to attack not only our team, but also other creatures living in the area. Sounds about right. File number 0257, Danger Nessie. A dragon-like creature with a long neck observed to have been fighting with Bigfoot. This creature is also extremely large, appearing to be just as big as Bigfoot. It is extremely dangerous. While the team was out on the lake, this creature emerged from the water without warning and capsized the boat, causing us to lose much of what we had gathered. It was a mir miracle that we were able to return alive after encountering the creature at such a close range. I wonder what he says about Jackalope. The explorers continued their report on some of the other life forms they had seen. Dude, they didn't do Chupacabra. That's sad. Chupacabra is freaking scary. And I would have wanted to see what they did with the Wolfman. Among the audience presented, there are were a few who found these episodes a little too tall to believe, but even they could not deny the fact that the explorers had returned with real, tangible samples. Everyone on the team agreed that, although the island still had many mysteries left to uncover, it was also much too treacherous. Shortly after the conclusion of this conference, a second team would be sent to explore the island further. You guys are idiots. <laughs> They invested in new equipment and more manpower and set off with the intentions of not only learning more about the mysterious island, but also capturing a few live specimens to take home with them. Who knows what they will find on the next expedition, or even if they will return alive. Yeah, they're not gonna live. I can tell you that for sure. Dark Sacrifice. What is this? When your opponent activates a card or effect, it would destroy a card on the field, negate the effect. Then send a level 3 or lower dark monster from your deck to your graveyard. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was the story of the dangers. And we unlocked packs. So that's great. <laughs> it's, it was alright. I thought it was okay. The deck is fun. It's not good on its own. It's usually... Uh, the I believe the main thing that they used was Dark World. Uh, that's actually very fun. I have tried that one too. And it, it's actually pretty good. I'm not sure about now days, but it was good back then when it was released. It was pretty fun. I liked it. There's a lot of Dark World stuff you end up putting in the deck because Dark World discards as well for effects, so they kind of just mesh together. But, uh, Thanks for watching. Um, got a couple of the other stories currently on my channel. If you want to check up the future ones that end up releasing later on in the future, because it does not look like they added the new stories of all of them. 
Hopefully they will soon. Uh, yeah, just hit the subscribe button and uh, you won't have to go through all these little solo modes. You can just watch them here. Even if I'm a little bit annoying on it. Hopefully that's not the case. <laughs>